All right, welcome back to the channel. Big news, big secret revealed with behind the scenes audio of Gervonta Davis's team making an admission about his weight and what he will never do again. And that was come back down to 135. So people are saying that this means that Gervonta Davis is really ducking Devin Haney. Let's talk about that in this video. All right, welcome back to the channel. It's your boy Fanon. And in this video, we're going to be in the 135 pound division where somebody sent me something that I thought was um, indicative of one of the bigger problems that we have in boxing, at least in the conversations that we have on YouTube and on Twitter amongst, you know, hardcore boxing fans. But also, People in large in the news and all of that, which is taking hot, hot mic sound bites and making a lot out of them without putting them in context. But let me tell you what I mean. Leonard Ellerby, who is the CEO of Mayweather Promotions, is on tape talking to somebody. And they're asking, and this is right before the Mario Barrios fight where Gervonta Davis fights at 140 pounds. Leonard Ellerby, he's not on tape, but it sounds like Leonard Ellerby, says that Gervonta Davis uh, is a big guy and that he's never going to go back down to 135 pounds. He's going to stay at 140 pounds. Said that he weighs his walk around weight. I think it said 160. OK, so that means that Gervonta Davis really is going to be at 140. There's a lot of there. I can understand how somebody would take that and in a vacuum think to, oh, well, he's a 140 pounder. Just because I say I can understand why somebody would think that doesn't mean that that person isn't dead wrong. And I can also tell you why you shouldn't believe that. Now, before I get into the details, though, let me welcome you back to the channel Subscribe to the channel if you've not subscribed to the channel. Hook me up. Also, thank you to everybody that supports the channel and the super thanks. It's a great way to sponsor the video and other video cre content creators that you like. But let's get into this and why I say that. First of all, Mario Barrios and Javante Davis fought, I don't know, what was that, three years ago? Immediately after Gervonta Davis fought at 135, I mean at 140, he said that he didn't feel comfortable at the weight, that he felt slow. He then went all the way back down to 130 pounds and fought Leo Santa Cruz. And or I think maybe he fought Leo Santa Cruz. Then he went up to 140. Then he went back down to 135. Can't remember the exact order, but I think I think Leo Santa Cruz might have come. He went to 140 then went down for Leo Santa Cruz. Whatever the case is, I was a little bit out of it at that point in time. Whatever the case is, ever since then, he has been at 135 pounds and said that that's where he needs to be. So if you take the audio from the Mario before the Mario Barrios fight and Leonard Ellerby says he's never going to go back down. Well, obviously, Leonard Ellerby was wrong. Obviously. Also, let's look at the weight of 160 pounds. Walking around at 160 pounds is would mean that you could probably weigh in at 135 pounds, maybe a stretch to you. But let's say that you are blowing up in weight because of things other than your natural body size. 
and you decide to, let's say, hire a nutritionist and stop drinking alcohol like Gervonta Davis did, and you no longer weigh as much in between fights. That could make it that much easier for you to stay at the weight that you're comfortable at. So, number one, just because Leonard Ellerby said it doesn't mean that's what Gervonta Davis thinks. Those are two different human beings. One is Leonard Ellerby. The other one is Gervonta Davis. Gervonta Davis is the one that decides it's ultimately going to decide where he wants to fight. Leonard Ellerby has insight on it for sure. Also, when Leonard Ellerby said, he said three years ago or four years ago, and his understanding obviously has changed since Leonard Ellerby is saying now that he, Gervonta Davis, could make 130 pounds if he wanted to. He's comfortable at 135. If he needed to, he can make 130. He's not a 140 pounder. He's not going up there. Now, why would he say one thing four years ago and say something different now? It could be because he had different information. (laughs) It's amazing to me how people use sound bites and you guys try that stuff on me as if most times, though, you don't you just take the sound bite out of context. And that may be something else. I don't know. I don't really I didn't hear the entire conversation. I I heard enough uh, enough to get the point of the people that sent it to me. However, he could have he could have been like, yeah, he gets up to 160. He probably needs to be at 140. And then they and Gervonta said, ah, nah, look, I'm going to stop drinking. I'm going to keep my body weight very, you know, I'm going to live a boxer's life and I can comfortably make 135. I can if I need to, I can make 130. No need for me to be to 140. And Leonard Ellery can say, oh, OK, great. Thank you for letting me know that. The thing that gets me is that people try to use as proof of something that Gervonta Davis is going to do what somebody else said in a hot mic circumstance three years ago and act as if that really and truly is uh, conclusive as to him ducking somebody like Devin Haney. Devin Haney, and let's talk just for a second about about Leonard Ellerby saying that he walks around at 160. Devin Haney walks into the the next day weigh in at the next day weigh in is 165. That's five pounds more than Gervonta Davis is walking around in street clothes. Come on, man. When he's not training and that's when he's looking puffy and big. The idea that these guys are anywhere near the same size of human being is absolutely positively ridiculous. And you can tell it just looking at the guys. I find it real, real, real weird, real weird that so many people are interested in getting a guy that big to fight a guy that small by acting as if that guy's really that big. And though everybody can see that he's not. But, you know, it is what it is, man. I just wanted to get my two cents on that because people sent it to me. But please let me know what you think in the comment section. And with that, I'm out. Deuces.